Well, Bob and Linda Belter, along with their three kids, own a small hamburger shop on the East Coast. Well, first, they found success on the small screen, and then Hollywood came knocking. Well, here's Danny's interview with the two stars. It's gonna be okay, Bob. Happy, mm. hopeful, mm. kissy lips. Uh, please. Can't even believe I'm talking to my idols right now. <laughs> well, guys, I would love you both to tell me what it's like to play your characters. Obviously, um, Bob and Linda, it's the, the dynamic is incredible. So will you each tell me what it's like? You know, it's great. We've been doing it so long. Um, uh, we're, we've turned into like a married couple in, in real life. Um, but playing Bob and playing off Linda, obviously, like uh, our dynamics always really fun. Um, uh, the kids are crazy. Um, and I, yeah, I feel like playing Bob is like uh, always trying to uh, keep it together uh, while at the same time desperately trying to enjoy his family. And that's, that's <laughs> a difficult thing to do a lot of the time, but uh, he pulls it off. What about for you, John, Linda? Well, Linda's a joy to play, and I, I love Bob and Linda's relationship, how, uh, how sweet it, it is and um, how much history they have and um, how, how their lives unfolded together and the, the support they have for each other. Um, and with John, uh, it's, uh, it's a pleasure working off of him as a, another actor because he's so funny, and, and uh, I've learned a lot over these years, too. From from him and uh, yeah, it's it's a great it's a great relationship on and off. That is amazing. Like, That's so know, awesome. Like like Yoda, Luke Skywalker kind of thing. <laughs> exactly. Right. Like how Yoda's face is all like crinkled up, and Luke's got that nice. That's what I mean. I look I look like Yoda, and you look like Luke Skywalker. Exactly. Exactly. He life. said it. He said it, not me. Mm, that feels nice. I know, I know. Don't rub my sesame seeds off. I won't, don't worry. They're a cute couple. Eh, I give them a year. Well, the movie um, was incredible. We went to see it in theaters and uh, we absolutely loved it. What was it like for you guys to bring Bob's Burgers to the big screen? Oh man, it was a thrill. We, we had a big premiere on Hollywood Boulevard. That was crazy. We got to get all dressed up. Um, and uh, they shut it down. It was, you know, it was really Hollywood um, fun and uh, this beautiful theater, El Capitan. There's a gorgeous uh, organ that pops out of the stage. It's got this old timey kind of vibe. So uh, it, it was, it felt like this kind of old timey premiere too. And it's nice to see this type of animation again on the big screen and, and for it to be Bob's and, and to be, for it to be celebrated in theaters, uh, it's like such a dream come true. And it's so nice that it was well received in a time where I think people, you know, need to turn off a little and just, you know, vibe out. What about for you, John? Well, I mean, I think you get a little jaded when you're on like a show that's like been on for so long. And where, you know, and seeing it on the small screen, obviously. And then when you, when you watch the movie, uh, especially for fans of the show, you know, you're just seeing this like much more grand, lush version of the show. And that that goes like across the board with, uh, with the musical numbers, with uh, the way the characters move, with uh, how filmic it is and how beautiful they animated it. So that was, uh, I think, really cool to see. Yeah. Oh! oh my God. Louise, don't go down there, it's dangerous. Ah! Did you mean to wave your arms all over the place while falling into the hole? Because if so, you nailed it. Yes, it all went great. Bob's Burgers, the movie is streaming now. Stick around because Bob and Linda imagine a burger made just for Danny. That's coming up next. Well, so glad you're still with us on Colorado and Company. All right, here's part two of Danny's interview with John Benjamin and John Roberts, a.k.a. Bob and Linda Belcher. I would love, if, um, if you don't mind, of course, to hear from Bob and Linda about, like, okay, I'm having a barbecue tonight. What do I make? Like, John, as Bob, do you have a fun burger of the day for me? And John, as Linda... Can you tell Bob 
how ridiculous his burger of the day is. Can you guys do that for me? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Bob, Bob, what are you making over there? What are you working on? I'm trying to come up with a burger of the day for Danny. Oh. Um, I'm trying to think of something Dan, like that has Danny in it. Danny, Dan, I did, I don't, Dan, I'm not. Danny my burger. Danny, Danny my burger. Danny like dynamite? Yeah, Danny mice. Yeah, but no one will get that. It's not Danny. Danny Dan doesn't have anything like dying. Oh, Danny Lynn. Danny. Danny, Danny Lynn? Danny Zuko burger. Okay. Grease. Oh, grease, because burgers have grease. Yeah. Well, yours do. So, greasy burger, Danny Zuko. Danny's greasy. Danny Zuko's greasy burger. I oh. love it. I mean, that's not great, but whatever. It's Grease Lightning. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay, I'm dead. I'm now going to tell everybody that I have my own burger personally made for me by Bob and Linda. I'm so excited. That's Bob incredible. Grease. Wait, so, John, I have to, John Roberts, I have to ask you, do you have a favorite Linda song? And wait, I mean, John Benjamin, you have to tell me, too, if there's a favorite Linda song, because I have one, but you guys have to I tell me. I think it's probably the Thanksgiving song, only because every Thanksgiving it comes back, and it's Thanksgiving's obviously a special family day, and, you know, it's nice that, that people sing it on that special day. Pass the cranberry sauce. We're having mashed potatoes. Oh, the turkey looks great. Thank you for loving me. Everyone's thanking. The whole Good. world's thanking you. Thanking Stop. us for thanking you. Kill the turkey. So do you guys draw on your characters a lot? Or do you like play your characters a lot in everyday life? <laughs> Just play, be our characters all day long? Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, sing, that's what... I sing a lot around the house. Yeah, I, I sing to my dogs, but maybe not as Linda. Um, <laughs> that might be a turnoff. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what about you, John? I always like, like, uh, I'm always semi aggravated by my son. So that's familiar. And you sound like Bob right now. I know I do. I don't, I don't put on a voice. So I pretty much do sound like Bob all day. You're pretty much just Bob all day. Yeah. So John uh -huh. Roberts, where does that voice come from? Is that like a family member that you're you you pulled from or where is that yeah that's my mom um so basically she's from brooklyn and i've been doing that my whole life but kind of making making fun of my mother um and she and she's been very good about it she's a good sport and uh like when i did my youtube videos that was kind of her house and i all her clothes and stuff and uh she's she's a big fan of comedy she she really got me into comedy a lot my, my mom's always been um, you know, a voice that I kind of made fun of. <laughs> I love that. Well, you guys, I, again, am so honored to be able to chat with you. Um, I feel like all of us feel as though Bob and Linda are part of our families already. So uh, I am so excited to be able to share this interview with the rest of our Colorado family, too. And uh, I, I'm just so, so honored to be able to sit here and chat with you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Danny. Of Thanks for the Danny Zuko burger. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. Well, Bob's Burgers, the movie, is streaming right now. Back with more Coco after the break. <laughs>